Howdy gang, it's Zippo. Um, I've had a few people over time ask me uh, exactly what I've got in the North American Arms uh, mini revolvers. So I decided to go ahead and lay them all out and show you guys all that I've got. Um, start with the smallest first. It's a 22 long rifle with uh, one and one eighth inch barrel. And there's three ways that I can carry this one. One is this belt buckle. The gun snaps into the belt buckle. Hammer has to be resting in one of the safety grooves. Place it in and use the spring loaded pin press it in and it holds against your extractor rod, your ejector rod that holds your cylinder in. That's one form of carrying this little mini revolver. All these guns are unloaded by the way and they're all, even though they're unloaded, they're all still set um, in their safety notches. So that was carry method number one. Now we've got carry method number two. It's a North American Arms uh, pocket holster. It had a clip on it. That's what these stitchings are. And I took that clip off because I like the way it rides in my pocket without it. And you can see that's carry option number two. And carry option number three is this beautiful wet mold holster is made by Mr. Mad Hat, Jason. He does awesome work. He's got a number of different styles of pocket holsters, including one for the Magnums that has a spare cylinder holder, which is kind of handy to have. The way you've got 10 shots carrying around with you. But these go in, fit like a glove, don't slide out. Sits real nice in the pocket. Um, he makes one that comes squared off. I've got one I'll show you in a minute. Squared off so it sits prominent in the pocket straight up and down. Um, this one is for uh, a different kind of pocket. My Levi's. Um, this has a tendency to want to do this in my Levi's. But uh, there are a couple other brands of pants like Schmidt's and uh, uh, Silver's where the pocket is actually cut similar to that with a point down at the bottom of the pocket. Where the gun sits very well in it. So let's carry option number three for the one that I carry most often, my little 22 long rifle. So that's uh, gun number one, carry method number three. <clears throat> We're going to jump down here. This is a 22 Magnum uh, combo, has both 22 long rifle and 22 WMR or Magnum. Uh, cylinders will shoot either or with uh, the bunt line laser engraved grips, uh, cowboy style grips, boot boot grips I believe they call them. Uh, and this one I've got uh, one carry method for it and it's uh, a holster that's made by uh, Rob Leahy up in Alaska uh, called Simply Rugged. I did a full polish on this one, so it's uh, kind of my little, my baby. It was my first one, so they say you never forget your first. But there's that. And this can also double. It's called Pancake Holster. Silver Dollar Pancake Holster. Uh, works with 2 inch belt max. Um, me being left handed, of course, is why it's configured the way that it is. Fits on my left side. Uh, you can wear this inside the waistband if you want to, uh, or rather inside the belt. You can just run the belt through the loops a different way and have the belt come across. Um, a little uncomfortable wearing it that way, so I wear it the normal way. But that's that. That's carry option number four, gun number two. And the uh, original grips that would have come with this gun would be these here. These are actually the, the gray and black but as you can see 
the size difference. Um, these are much easier to hold on to. I've about medium frame, so uh, when I'm holding, I, I can hold comfortably. I can get two fingers on and hold it fairly well. Tiny little thing, isn't it? But that's that. Carry option number four, gun number two. Carry option number five, still using gun number two. Again, my being left handed. This is a Zippo lighter case that I have altered to accept. You can see the PP, the PP there, uh, the IPP. Um, I bought this intentionally to alter and turn it into a gun holster. Opened up this area down here for the barrel to go through and carved this piece of leather out so that uh, when the gun is inserted the right way, since I'm left handed, when the gun is inserted, this comes across and keeps you being able to pull back the hammer. So, carry option number, what's that, five, gun number two. Something else real quick that I want to talk about, you can see we've got uh, some oversized grips here. Let me get my pointer. We've got uh, oversized grips here, standard grips here. This is the pug. It normally would have had hard rubber uh, molded grip that is just a one piece that slides onto the bird's head frame. Um, I have put standard uh, issue 22 Magnum grips on uh, just because I like the looks of them and the feel. This gun has a holster that's been made specifically for it and it is of the different design uh, that I was talking about from Mad Hat Leather. The one that goes straight across at the bottom to hold the uh, position of the gun correct. So, as you can see. And Black Widow oversized rubber grips. You can order rubber grips uh, from the North American website. Uh, these are uh, 1860 model Earls. Uh, they're named after the gentleman that designed them. Uh, and soon you guys can look forward to a 3 inch version where the barrel stops here. Comes right across here. It's not out for uh, the public yet, but it will be soon. Um, this one's a low serial number, which is why I've got a second. Wanted to be able to shoot. So, low serial number, and this one was a combo also has a 22 WMR and 22 long rifle and then up top just about out of the picture I'm going to slide it down a little bit so that we can see it is the 22 uh, combo in a mini master a four inch barrel this one would have had plain black rubber gr grips without the black widow uh, emblem on it and I replaced them with uh, rosewood laminated oversized grips. And you'll notice my Black Widow also has a uh, laser uh, attached to it. And these are available by Laserlight, uh, laserlight.com. I think they're running about close to 90 bucks, and then you got shipping on top of that. $88, I think they were. But um, this is for all those who couldn't uh, get a grasp on just how many I had. So I pulled them all out at once. Uh, other carry options that I've got are this is a uh, flexible oop, flipped it around this is a flexible case it has a non-stick surface so that when you put it in position it stays in position and inside is kind of like a neoprene and this one was uh, purchased for the Black Widow so the Black Widow could be put in my pocket with the laser still on it and keep everything protected. And the last two holsters again by Mr. Mad Hat Leather. It's a left and right for the two Earls. And there we go. And I'm out of time. So there you have it. Later guys.